Hey everybody, Mario here. So this weekend was f nothing but events. It was, I had an event in Simi Valley with the Common Sense American Patriot. Aaron Cruz showed up. We also had Human Salim showed up. We had a couple of other candidates from other, from that area show up. It was wonderful. We even had a couple, we even had a journalist show up, which was fantastic. And the journalist who broke the Katie Hill story showed up. So we we had a fun time. We had a really, really good time. Lori with her LA for Trump showed up and with all of her, her flags and someone stole her Trump 2020 flag. Can you believe that? Some leftists. We, we taped it onto the thing. We ran in to do speeches and we came back. It was gone. You know, why, why, y'all reason why we can't have nice things because y'all steal things. You guys get so upset. It, it's funny because we are triggering them so bad and it, we, as in these, this LGBT movement that's happening, this movement in the conservative party, and I can see it's causing some people a little friction. It, it is, it's happening. I was interviewed yesterday on a podcast and they were asking me about this, about how this, all this new visibility with the Brandon Strocks, the Blairs, the Scots, the, 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 the Guy Benson, all of them. And they're trying to make sense of this and where it fits because they don't feel like it fits. And just this weekend, I watched Charlie Kirk just like rip into someone because they didn't think that LGBT belonged in the movement. And he basically told them, what do two adults consenting to do in their private lives? What does that have to do anything with you and being a Christian? Shouldn't you just, you know love the sin or love the sinner, hate the sin. Like that's kind of the thing. Um, and well, they don't, they don't contribute to society. They'll contribute to society. And it's, it's one of those things we do contribute to society. And I, that's what I told them in the podcast. You wouldn't have a lot of these art forms. You wouldn't have a lot of the flamboyancy and you can use us as a weapon. That's what, exactly what I, I'm doing with Mario Presents. And that's one, one of the reasons why I go out there in heels. And that's what I explained to them. And they said, oh, that makes sense. I, because how would you know, other than me wearing a rainbow, wearing something gay, would you recognize that I was if LGBT? You wouldn't. So when I'm, because I'm strong enough in myself that I can put on a pair of platform shoes and go out there and rally in them and everyone's like, ooh, how do you do that? Props to you. That's just part of my culture. And that's what we all are. Is we're different cultures. Uh, I saw the Brandon Strock event this weekend with Walkaway and, and Blair White and my friend, love him, the adorable, deplorable Christopher Drew. He's fantastic. If you don't follow him, you need to be following him. And that was scary. I saw Ann Coulter or I saw videos of the Ann Coulter and Lindsay Grakowski was out there and she was face to face with Antifa, her and Christopher and her Proud Boys. They definitely made sure that they kept the peace and Christopher actually from what I am to understand flipped one or two people over there which is fantastic I I was at my event and this lady Tammy she and I believe it was her son they were there they're on the other side they wanted to see what was all what it was all about they wanted to know and I talked to them I had a nice conversation they wanted to understand they'd never seen a gay conservative like I was a unicorn to them and everyone on my side was coming rushing up to me hey oh my god I love your shoes thank you so much for being here blah 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 and I'm having this conversation and you could see that they didn't understand why and how and how I fit in this movement but that I was feeling nothing but acceptance and love, and it that I could, I, and hi, I hope you, I hope to see you more on Mario Presents. I really do. I hope to maybe flip you too. <laughs> we'll see if that happens. Because she said she was Catholic, she but she's a big hard leaning left, and I would love to have longer conversations with her. Um, we discussed about where my rights begin and where someone else's rights you know, and, and how the two have to be in, in mutual respect, those boundaries. And so it was nice. It was wonderful. What I, what I've seen and what disheartens me a lot lately is the schisms that are being caused in this movement. And I say this movement because I'm, I'm a conservative first. I'm conservative before I'm LGBT. I'm conservative before I'm any other application of, uh, identifying factor. I'm a man, biologically, that would be, you know, I guess you could say that would be the first, first, first thing. I'm male. Um, the second thing would then be my chromosomal expressions. That's what they are, people. It's not skin color. It's not features. It's chromosomal expressions. Everybody has them and everyone has different ones. And when we mix them, it's actually kind of beautiful. So 
we all have subtle things that make us different and that's what makes us beautiful. That's what makes our fabric fantastic. And we can't be going out there and picking at each other and fighting at each other because that's how the left gets in here. That's how the left gets us silenced and all of a sudden, Mikey Harlow's gone and he can't come back. And so he has to rebuild everything. Hagatha, this is the second or third time she's been disappeared. Or Kitty as well. They've been erased second two or three times. So now it's up to us to rebuild them, bring them all the way back. These small people are easy to erase. The bigger ones are harder. And the sad part about the bigger ones is once they get, once you get to a certain point of, I guess you could say celebrity status, you get, you get this attitude. And that makes me really sad. I, I watched my friend Christopher Drew's trip up to Chico and I could tell that it wasn't as, it wasn't, I'm going to tell you right now, it wasn't as fun as mine. I had a great time going to New Mexico and come back. We laughed. We, it was great. And I could tell that this trip, he was just kind of like, hmm. It was through the lives. I watched, I watched your guys' live feed, feeds. I, call, I react. I comment. I try to like every single thing. Every time you share, I try to go out there and make sure that I like your share because it's important that you guys know that I'm trying to touch everything. I really, really, really want this movement to grow. I want people to be more embracing of LGBT conservatives because they're not LGBT community. They've walked away a long time ago. They never needed the walk away hashtag. Brandon just capitalized on that. They never needed a hashtag. They never, because they've always existed. They were just too quiet to come out. And that's what Mario Presents is all about.